Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from blog-machine.com So guys, this is a very quick video regarding Docker. So many times you will be facing this issue whenever you start Docker, okay? So you will see one error called unexpected error occurred and if you try to read this, it says hardware resistant virtualization and data execution protection must be enabled in BIOS, okay? So let me show you how you can fix it and let's get started. Okay, so as per the message, we need to first check whether virtualization is enabled or not. So let me show you one by one. So just open your task manager. So the first thing that you need to check that virtualization should be enabled in your system. Okay, so this is the task manager. So the moment I click on performance, you will see this virtualization is already enabled, right? Even though if you're getting that message, that don't worry, follow the process which I'm going to show you and this error will be fixed, okay? So as per the message, virtualization should be enabled, which is true in our case. Second thing that you need to check is Hyper-V program is enabled or not. So this is virtualization, which is enabled from BIOS. Second thing is the Windows program. So what you can do, search for features, okay? You can see this turn window feature on and off. Click on this and you will get this window, which is Windows features, right? So first of all, what you need to check you can see this option, right? Hyper-V. Open this. Again, you will see Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V program. Again, make sure all the checkbox are selected, okay? So these two should be selected, these two should be selected, and this one should be selected. If any of the one is missing, then again, you might face the same issue. So make sure all the checkbox are enabled. Second thing that you need to check is this checkbox, which is Windows subsystem for Linux. This should be also selected. Now you just need to do a final step. You just need to open PowerShell and you need to run one command and you just need to restart your system. So let me show you that command. And after that, we'll quickly restart our system and you will see this time you will not get that error. So let me go back and again search for PowerShell. Again, for PowerShell, if I just search PowerShell, open this PowerShell in admin mode. Okay, run as administrator. Okay, it will just ask you. Okay, just give the access. And you can see this power shell is enabled, right? So now you just need to run a small command and we will simply restart our system after executing this command. So the command that we need to execute is bcd edit site hypervisor launch type auto. Okay, this is the command. So this command I will give you in the first comment of this video or the description of this video. You can simply copy paste and execute. So basically BCD edit means BCD stand for boot configuration data. So we want to simply add it this particular flag, which is hypervisor launch type equal to auto. So BCD edit set hypervisor launch type auto and hit enter. Now I will quickly restart my system and Again, I will show you, I will start the Docker and this time you will not see the error message. So again, I will give you a quick recap what we have done. So first of all, we have checked whether virtualization is enabled or not. Once that is enabled, second thing that we need to check the Windows feature. Make sure Hyper-V is checked and all the sub options are also selected. Okay, Hyper-V management tools, these two checkboxes. Hyper-V platform, these two checkboxes. Make sure this checkbox is also selected. Once all these are done, you need to click on OK. Okay. If these options are not selected, the moment you click on OK, it will take few seconds to apply these changes. After that, open the PowerShell, execute this command. And when you see this option, you're done. Restart your system and you will be able to see the Docker. So let me restart my system. And again, I will come back within a minute. Now I have restarted my system. So now if I open Docker this time, just search for Docker and Within few seconds, Docker will start and it will not throw any message. Okay, guys, as you can see, now the Docker is working fine and you're no longer getting that particular error message. Yeah, that's a very quick video. And if this video helped you, then do support this channel, share with your friends, colleagues, those who are facing this issue with Docker. And yeah, if you have any other issue, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.